Welcome back everybody. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome weekend, spending time with some of your animals. Just want to show you what's going on in the room super fast. Well, hopefully it's kind of fast. Trying to make a quick video and we'll see how that happens. So, uh, did a live video. Um, so everything's kind of thrown together and not really put back to where it was, but had a good time talking to a lot of you guys on live, uh, seeing what you guys own. So you guys some animals that you guys personally wanted to see other than me just kind of guessing on the videos. But the male snow shed out and he is looking awesome. So kind of gross, the water, I mean, it's clean. It's just stained from the repti chip and there might be some pee in there. I don't know, but I'll dump it out anyways. Get, get a new uh, deli cup because when you buy them from ARS, you get like 500 of them for like 40 bucks. And I was like, who needs 500 of these? Well, now I know. I don't know if these are, I don't know if you can put these in the washing machine or the uh, the dishwasher, not the washing machine, but the dishwasher. Uh, but I just throw them away. So this guy is looking awesome. Really nice whites, nice tail patterns. Um, he's getting yellower, which is awesome. So I have seen a few adult snows where they're very vibrant yellow and the saddles that you can see and then the tail stays a very nice whitish color. So it's a really nice and unique pattern on them and they just look incredible. So kind of like the, the moon glows. So the moon glows just like the snow, except the moon glow has hypo added into it. So we can see the saddles a little bit better um, the color is a little bit different and really nice uh, coloration on her tail, just like the snow. So um, you can put these together, but since they're albino to albino, um, you do have to worry about the possibility of some of the babies being born with, you know, no eyeballs or a eyeball that's sticking halfway out of its face or the possibility of the eyeball falling off as it grows up so a lot of people don't like the uh the albino to albino stuff but it's hit or miss so the img motley is doing awesome he needs to eat actually all of these babies need to eat and um oh yeah let's check her out so this girl is doing really well and somewhat in a good mood today so IMG VPI looking just amazing. And so I don't know what these look like as adults, but as of right now, she is getting really, really dark and her tail is still staying a nice reddish color, which is awesome with the whites in between, which is really kind of crazy looking because it's really dark on the sides. And then you got the white between the saddles. So she just looks really, really nice. Um, so. She is the sister to her, which we all know who she is, Miss Angry, and VPI Aztec, which we are learning, learning to like each other, kind of. So it's been a long journey and it's not gonna end there. So of course, I'm gonna keep you guys updated with her. The Grand Anaconda Mountain Dew is in shed uh, she should be shedding out completely here in the next couple of days so just a really really nice beautiful anaconda i love how bright those bands are behind her eyes and she's still in shed so she doesn't look the greatest she needs clean water definitely um she does soak all the time obviously she's an anaconda but because she's going into shed she uh hangs out in the water <laughs> even more than normal so we'll bring a light over here and uh oh like i said i was doing live so i got cords running <clears throat> cords running everywhere and all my tubs are kind of screwed up from how they were earlier and i have no hides in here because i took them all out so pastel pied female looking really nice i love how much pattern is on her just a really, really pretty snake. Now I do know the pastels do fade out on age, just like every snake, which is kind of depressing. 
I wish they would stay as bright as they are as babies into adulthood. Like that would that would be really, really nice. And who's in here? Let's just check. Oh yeah, of course. Um oh never mind. I thought she dumped her water. So orange dream and she leopard pied. This is a male, and this guy is crazy looking, super bright. And so we have a regular female pied that is breeder ready next year. He'll be breeder ready next year. So who knows? Who's in here? Anybody good? Oh yeah, definitely. So a female, fire enchi clown. This girl looks really nice. And I like how the enchi just cleans up the patterns. Uh, cleans up the sides really well and I don't know it's just like not really sloppy but I sometimes like that because if we go over here to the pastel it's just crazy patterns all the way up and down her back um, so from what my understanding is the entry really cleans that up and it um, reduces a lot of the pattern which definitely is not a bad thing I don't think everybody's got their own opinions and that is fine and then we'll cruise on through. I know I just made a video of looking at these girls, but they just look really nice. And if you missed the last video, maybe you could see them now. So, um, black pastel pied, very high whites, which is awesome. It's almost completely snow white, except for the head pattern. And that is crazy. So I really hope as she gets older, that black spots and specklings will show up on her because when I got this black pastel last year, she didn't have any of these markings on her. And then as she's getting older and shedding more, these are just randomly showing up, which is awesome. So some of you guys want to see the red tails, so. Um, I know you guys ask to see these quite often. So this is my Suriname red tail and she's a fighter. She's got a couple battle wounds on her, but, uh, she's doing very well. Very nice markings and a really nice tail on her as well. And we'll jump over here to the Guyana. This girl is really awesome looking. Really nice saddles on her. Really nice patterns. And this, this tail is just ridiculous. Like just, it just gets redder and redder every single time that she sheds out. Look at that blood red with the high white in between. You can't, I mean, you could probably get better than that, but I don't know. That's just is awesome. Really cool. I love locality boas. So, <sighs> There's so many morphs out there, but you gotta love and respect the locality, the the true red tail snakes. You just you just have to. And one more, just one more. I could probably show you guys snakes all day, and, and you know this. So come here. She's a little tiny, and she's kind of fragile, so we have to be careful with her. Whoa. So the VPI uh, jungle female. And this girl is, I, I like her a lot. Awesome. Look at this pattern. Almost connects all the way down her body. Well, it is down her body, but almost to the top of her head. And eh, kind of breaks up in the tail, but crazy looking. Very nice tail. Awesome colors. And before she disappears and I have to search for her forever. We'll put her back she's eating very very well and that's it so just a couple quick updates these girls right here need to eat they're doing well argentine is still and eh, she kind of hates me <laughs> but uh only in the cage when she's out she's perfectly fine so short try to make it short and see you guys on the next video